Hey everybody, welcome back to Muddling Through Minecraft. I am Niceberg and it is great to have you along for this ride. Before we get started, hit that like and subscribe button for more content like this. Really appreciate it and if you hit that bell you'll get notified when I post a new video. We go once a week basically. Between episodes, I've been doing a lot of work around the base and in the nether on the nether hub. So let's go check in at the nether. Uh, there's a lot of progress here, and I'm not going to show you everything. We're going to kind of jump into the middle, so don't be too surprised by it. Well, we are in the nether still working on the hub, and I have been slowed down significantly by a pretty big problem that I was not expecting. Uh, you can see me taking out a portal now. So here is the beginnings of the hub. Uh, I've adjusted the uh, towers some, and I think that they look a lot better. But what I want to do is I wanted to put this portal in the middle uh, for the for my base. So my base would come through to the middle of the nether hub. Um, and the problem is that my original portal was somewhere over here up high actually i think it was maybe right up here up high and uh, it won't connect to that portal that portal is showing up about 200 blocks away in the overworld all right just so we all understand what's happened here and how long i've been at this one two three four this was five there's two more over there there's at least two more over there so that's seven portals that i've taken down already trying to make these connect and I'm just not sure it's going to work out the way that I want it to. So may have to go into a plan B for the uh, design of our nether hub here. Unfortunately, this isn't going to work just because of the proximity or lack of proximity. I didn't realize how far off of my original portal I had uh, made the center of this platform here. So now that portal over there that is in the tower uh, is linked to my base. So here is the portal to my base now. Uh, it's right here by the nether hub and that will work. The first pathway that we are going to put together and finish up here will be the tunnel out that leads out towards the uh, end portal or at least again the nether portal that leads to the end portal. So we're going to do a soul sand uh, floor here in the middle and we will do uh, a ledge on the outside where if you don't have any soul speed boots on then uh, you'll be able to just run down the side here and uh, not feel the effect of the soul sand but if we do have soul speed boots on then we can fly really fast down to the end portal here. Uh, the tunnel itself i think will be tall enough that if you wanted to actually fly down it uh we could yeah you, know, you could do that reasonably right you can see how high i'm kind of thinking about making some stuff here so uh, i think that that will work all right we'll, we'll see how that works um, i'm also thinking that the sides here will get filled in so that there won't be an opening uh, you won't be able to see through here or here so um no gas or anything would be able to see into uh, the inside here, fill up that decorative area. And then that gives us some, uh, some wall to kind of decorate and do some additional, uh, some additional work on if we wanted to. Uh, but for the most part, I think that uh, that's going to work pretty well for us. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Yeah, see, I like that a lot better than being able to see through it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and continue building out this pathway and try and get ourselves a, a little bit of an idea of what the design and what the uh, features are going to look like here uh, heading out towards the uh, end portal. As you can see, I've been hard at work in the nether with that hub and we'll revisit that project in just a little bit. Around the base, I've also been doing quite a bit of uh, changes, making quite a bit of changes. So first of all, we have installed a... Whoop, get down the ladder, there we go. A storage system, an actual sorter here for our wool. And uh, all of our colors are represented throughout this sorter. It's working beautifully. Uh, just need to make sure that I have enough shears that my sheep keep getting sheared. Uh, so that's an iron issue, right? Uh, hint, hint, at some point in the future, let's hope that that happens. 
<clears throat> my own iron farm is what I'm saying. The other storage solution is up here. Uh, this is the other major project that I've been working on since the last episode, and that is redoing our storage room. So you can see that there's some decorative issues here still, uh, but let's talk about what's going on here. First, we still have our shulker box unloader over here. Uh, we've got two barrels worth that will feed into the same dropper and we'll sneak back here. Dropper uh, shoots the uh, shulker there. I actually have to prime the system. So you drop your shulker in one of those barrels and then you come over and press the button and that fires the first shulker. Now, uh, as long as there are shulkers in there, it continues to fire them out. Okay, so you only got to do that once for every time that you bring a bunch of shulkers in. Uh, they go through, they get dispensed into our water column as was before. That's all the same. What's different now is how they're going into the sorter. So every single one of these double chests has its own uh, bulk item storage sorter on it. So basically behind this block here, is an impulse SV sorter uh, with uh, uh, with overflow protection on it. And uh, then next to it is a lamp. And that lamp is connected to this hopper right here. So we can go back and look at that redstone in just a little bit. But the gist of it is this. Once this large chest fills up with cobble with cobblestone, or this one fills up with regular stone, or this one with andesite, or down here, sand, dirt, whatever it is. Here are all of our wood types on the other side. Whenever this chest fills up, that hopper will then hang on to its first piece of cobblestone and that lamp will light up. And that'll let me know that this chest is full. At which point I can come over to the trap door, I can flip this lever, and I don't have this one primed yet, but I can flip this lever and this is a shulker box loader. So let's go take a look at the redstone underneath. Up at the top, chest gets full, light turns on, we flip that switch right there, and the cobble starts to go through these two hoppers into a shulker box. Again, this one is not loaded and primed yet. And that shulker box fills up. When it does, it gets ejected into that hopper, through this hopper, into this barrel, into another hopper, and finally into this barrel right here. So uh, this is my stone line. I just happen to know that. Maybe we should put something down here to let us know that. But we do have two shulkers of stone down here already in these barrels. So that's the bulk storage component. Uh, you've got some accessible here and then the shulkers underneath. Above each of these are two chests that we can store variants, variations in. Um, however we want to, you know, put these together, we can. I don't know that there's any right way or wrong way necessarily to do that, but that's our variants and those will have to be uh, sorted by hand. It's a great storage system. It really is. It's way more complicated than what I was really intending for this season, but I love it. And then over here is our overflow. So anything that we've got over here is not found in one of these bulk storage uh, items and systems. So whether that's a variant block that I can come over here and grab and then put in the right chest, or if it's something like uh, an apple that we can come and take over to, uh, I don't remember where I've got apples at in our nature over here, but I thought I had them. Anyway, you get the point, right? We can grab those, we can hand sort. Apparently I don't have apples over here. Let's throw them up there. Uh, we can hand sort then anything that comes into these non-sorted items chests. The redstone on this is just piecing together different parts of someone else's creations using hoppers. All right, just so just so you know. Um, and it, it's, it's pretty ugly actually, and uh, actually isn't very creative at all because right up here, when I put this together, I was like, oh man, it's only a three wide. So I got to offset my, my shulker box loaders. And I'm pretty sure that these shulker box loaders could have shared the redstone block because all this redstone block is doing is powering this redstone so that when this actually pulses, when the shulker box gets full, then the redstone turns off. And I think they could have shared red, uh, the redstone block and um, didn't even think about it until the whole stinking thing was built. 
And then it dawned on me what was actually happening there, and I'm not tearing it all down and redoing it. But not elegant, not very pretty, but it's getting the job done. Now that we have a storage system that's pretty dependent on shulker boxes, uh, I would like to go ahead and get it all filled up with shulker boxes, even if we don't end up using it. So uh, it's time to go build a farm. It's gonna let us uh, do that pretty quickly. Of course, this is going to be a shulker farm and uh, the design I'm using is going to use portals. So we've got to kind of get a long, a, a ways, not a long way, but a ways away from our, uh, f our area here so that the portals don't link up. And we also can't put this over in our farmland because it's dependent on a snowman and, or snow golem and snow golems will die in desert and badlands. So we're gonna take it out here over the ocean and set things up out over here. Now, I don't know how long this is gonna take. I've never built a shulker farm before. This will be my first time doing this, uh, but I am anticipating having some issues with the nether. We're gonna have to do some things on the roof of the nether for the first time. We'll head up to the roof. Uh, J-Boy Crew's been up there already, but uh, this farm is gonna come out here. I've, I've got a place out here basically on a zero on the X and a thousand on the Z. We'll be out over the ocean, we'll go up in the air, and we'll do all this in a way that is much easier as far as the nether goes. So we'll be on the nether roof and not have to worry about all kinds of different uh, spawning things and places where shulkers can land. We're gonna go ahead and set up a shulker farm. In the end, I've got some shulkers and boats, and we're going to see if I can actually get this to work the way it's supposed to. I think I'm going to come over here first, try and grab this one. Now, here's what I'm not happy about is that I was under the impression that the shulker bullets actually would not get out of the boat, and they are definitely coming out of the boat, so uh, that's going to make this even more challenging. But... We're going to go ahead and give it a shot and see if we can, darn it, make this work. There we go, and he's off. Now this should go all the way back to the original end island. We just need to keep him in render distance. Yep, I kind of figured that that might happen along the way. We pick up an enderman. Oh, good. I got hit by another shulker bullet. Oh, boy. All right, we're about halfway making the turn here. About 700 blocks left and we will be at the end portal. As we neared the end portal, I was so excited, but then the block that I had set up sent the shulker back in the opposite direction. And every time I, I got in the way to stop it, the Enderman was mad at me and then it took off again. So I tried to get out ahead of it as best as I could, but of course the shulker had shot me and then I started to have some loading issues, and I don't know why. So I, I struggled to get on the tracks to get in front of him. And just this entire series of events became super frustrating. Uh, and I finally got on the track, finally landed, uh, got it taken care of, popped a, a rail out so hopefully it would stop the boat. And I tried to get there to help stop it, forgetting that the Enderman was mad at me. But then 
look at how far away from the Enderman I was. And it totally got me. So this was the beginning of many, many frustrating moments uh, trying to get a shulker back. But eventually it happened. All right, we are back in the overworld with our shulker in a minecart only headed out towards the farm from our spawn area. I finally got smart, grabbed some potions of invisibility, so I stopped, get, stopped getting shot around by the shulker bullets, and we are gonna move the shulker down the tracks here using a furnace minecart. This is taking way too long. This is about my seventh shulker, I wanna say that I've either taken at least to the portal on the central island in the end. Uh, this is the second shulker that I actually got through that portal and to the overworld. As of right now, the farm is off, so once we get out there, uh, it should not uh, really move the shulker down in. It should give us enough time to uh, destroy anything any of these blocks up here on the rails that the shulker could attach to. Uh, but I'm just hopeful that I did everything right and that the shulker drops in there and this thing works. Because if it doesn't work, uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to need to do to make it work. Let's just kind of try and hop around and check and make sure that it is down there. Yes, it's there. All right. So... All of these tracks and everything, we can, whoops, we can go ahead and tear this down. Although, uh, I don't think I'm going to tear it completely down. I'm just going to make sure that there's nothing up here. Okay, couldn't spawn, oh, couldn't spawn, no, could spawn here. So I'm going to take that one down. The rest of these can't spawn on the underside, can't spawn on top. All right, folks, the moment of truth here is to fly down and turn this farm on. Cross your fingers. Let's make sure that we got mine carts here. Okay. Cross your fingers. We're going to give it a try. Here we go. Sometime soon, I don't know for sure how long it's going to be, uh, this little guy should drop down and in. It'll take the farm a little bit to figure out that that, there we go. Let's make sure he's dropped where he needs to drop. Yes, he has. He's attached where he needs to attach. <gasps> you guys, I think it's working. I actually think it's working the way it's supposed to work. What I'm stressed out about a little bit is that there doesn't appear to be anybody coming through. All right, things are still operating over here. Now that's been running for a little bit, I'm gonna double check this really quickly to make sure that I put these mine carts in, in the right spot. Okay, so yes, uh, let's check down here first. And I don't see a mine cart there. Although the door is open, which is not great. So we're gonna send a mine cart through to the nether. Bink. I don't really know what that was supposed to do. Oh no! No! How? No! Broken already. How? How is that possible? So those armor stands are supposed to prevent him, prevent the shulkers from teleporting to that spot right there. So I don't understand how that's possible. Oh man, if I have to tear this whole farm down, I am going to be livid. Um, is this dude still down here? No, he's not. This is such a massive bummer. So we have two shulkers left in our reserve unit here. Um, but I don't understand how they're teleporting through into the portal when the armor stands are there. So now I'm at kind of a total loss. So, so, uh, 
This is a bummer. All right. After a lot of distress and pain and suffering, um, I have, I think, fixed this farm. And if this doesn't fix it, I am going to be abandoning this for a time while I cool my jets and uh, finish a uh, finish a different project because this has been just aggravating. Like, why did... Oh, yeah, it didn't light because I didn't have it lit or because I didn't have it complete. There we go. Did I add... Yeah, it looks like I did. All right. Pop those back in place. We're going to light up the rest of these portals, and hopefully this thing will work the way it's intended. Again, I did I did have it running. What happened was uh, over on that other side by the snow golems, there were a couple pieces of glass missing out of this wall, and so uh, the shulker was able to attach where the portal was not, and so then the shulker was staying alive, and it didn't zip into uh, the nether dimension, and, and that's what happened. And it took me a while to uh, find that out, figure that out, and then it also took me a while to get the shulker out of there because I ran out of all of my reserve shulkers. I'll explain that in a minute as long as this thing runs. So, all right, I'm going to take this down, and it should be the uh, moment of truth. As soon as I flip this switch, the farm should go on. It'll take a little bit of time. We'll go into free cam mode and see if it works. Here we go. Farm is on. And we should see a signal coming up here. Uh, this little clock will eventually turn off. There we go. It's going to run its run out of its juice. Trap door should open. Shulker will fall down. And it is where it's supposed to be. Farm is running again. I think it's functioning correctly. Every time he hits himself with a bullet, the shulker teleports to a piece of glass on one of those four portals. And what we're actually seeing is a duplicate there. So when he closes... When he closes like that, that's actually a duplicate, and the one that was there had just transported, tr teleported. There we go. Uh, you can see those little flashes as he zips around somewhere, teleporting to one of the glass walls and portals and duplicates himself. So uh, that should be running as intended now. Over here in the nether, what we'll see... Yes, this is exactly what we should see. Oh no, the minecart stopped. We gotta get the minecart going. All right, here's what happens. The shulkers teleport through. They end up uh, teleporting down to one of these glass blocks. The minecart grabs it, drops it off in this powdered snow between entity cramming and taking uh, cold damage. The shulkers eventually die. Up here is a reserve space, basically, uh, for the shulkers. And these are all reserve shulkers for if anything happens in the overworld, uh, these guys can be picked up and taken into the overworld to reset the farm, essentially. Uh, so we're going to go turn it off and see if we can fix just a couple of these things over here on the nether side. I, I think I've got an issue with the portals linking that this isn't quite doing what it's supposed to do, but I, I think it's workable and doable, so uh, I'm going to be happy with it and assume that it's going to function. Things are doing what they're supposed to do, and we'll bounce back over into the nether really quickly and check and see how many shulker shells we have at the moment. Uh, look at this. I mean, we're already almost to two stacks of shells. And again, I think only 20 of those were from uh, when the farm was running initially. And now now we're, uh, we're much higher. So fantastic. Farm done. Shulker shells galore. We'll be able to fill our storage system in no time at all. And man, am I glad I didn't have to abandon this thing. We have had a bit of a saga with uh, some deaths and things, and it's been a while uh, since I finished the shulker farm, but 
I've also done quite a bit of work here in the Nether on the Nether Hub, and you can see that I am once again uh, revisiting the design of our towers. Um, I still just feel like this is too small, and I started to play with things, and I think I'm coming up with something that I like better because this is not grand enough of an entrance. And what I really want to be able to do is I want to be able to come here and just fly off, and uh, this is a little too too shallow, too narrow. Whereas this wall, I can bring the hallway up now to the level of that, and we'll be able to fly down the hallway much easier or much more easily. I don't know. Um, it also has a little bit of extra light in it. Uh, so I, I did a couple of things with the design process here uh, where basically I put those lights where I wanted them, and I'm going to kind of build everything else out around it so that those lights fit where they fit. Uh, and it also creates this opportunity to build like a walkway up here that will be able to come across and uh, a little more castle-y kind of feel here in the nether hub. And uh, this is going to move up some and, and all that kind of stuff. But uh, what I wanted to show you now is the progress that we've made on the walkways and uh, not a ton because again, had some deaths and things, uh, but we're going to design design a little bit of stuff here uh, that I want to play with. I've tried to start over here already. Uh, I'm thinking about some sort of archway kind of feel. And I started this one out of nether brick because this leads down to the nether fortress that we've been using. Uh, it's not really the nether fortress I want to use. Uh, it, it's not in a great area, but uh, it's at least the place where, where we've started. So I kind of started to make it out of nether brick, but I don't like how close whoopsies I don't like how close these undersides are like I kind of want it to be more of a half circle instead of a 45 so let's come over to the other side and we'll start working on what this uh what this might look like over here this tunnel leads straight down to the end portal over there so I was thinking that we'd make this uh this pathway out of end stone blocks uh, I noticed that I'm missing a slab here, but that's okay. So I think we were at six up before we started the uh, the archway over on that side. And we might even come up a little bit higher because now I want to think about the arch reaching kind of to the top edge of that stone right there. So let's actually kind of sneak out there really quickly and bring that over so that we know how high we're wanting to go. Now what I want is a much more uh, U-shaped arch. I don't want it to be quite as uh, 45 degree-ish. So I've been doing a little bit of a, a little bit of research uh, on some arch styles and things like that. So this one is going to be we're going to start with a design here that I think we may have to modify a bit because uh, it's supposed to only have a to center so we'll see how this looks uh, when all is said and done uh, here we will do uh, a stair block maybe if we pull that out do that and that and see it's still not high enough so that needs to be the full block my immediate gut reaction is that I don't like it but at the same time I've barely even started <laughs> started uh, building it here. So I think that one's going to come out. That'll be a regular block and then stair block here, stair block there. All right, let's go see. Uh, step back and take a look at that arch. Um, I That's actually going to be okay, I think. Um, one question I have is maybe that last block we turn into a stair block. So that block Coming to a stair block may make it look too diagonal. No, I think that'll be okay. The inside edge is really what I'm most concerned about. Uh, the outside edge, uh, this is going to eventually be encased. Uh, the, the point here is to be able to travel through this area, both avoiding, uh, um, both avoiding the soul sand and also avoiding ghasts. So this will eventually be fully enclosed and I'm just thinking about what that looks like yeah I like that because now we pop out and we fly easily down this tunnel um, it's tall enough it's high enough 
that pattern's good enough, and I think I'll also be happy with it uh, when it comes up close to the building and, and that sort of thing. Now we just have to put up another one of these arches all the way down the pathway here. The ribs of our pathway are in, and I gotta tell you, I really like how it has turned out. Uh, I could probably go with fewer uh, ribs, like maybe we take out every other one, but uh, even even so, I really like this. Now what I have to do is I have to create the pattern that's gonna go in between and something that can be disrupted potentially by, uh, by pathways in and out and that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, I I really like how this has turned out. Uh, that is, this is exactly what I'm what I was thinking of, where we could jump off here and boom, shoot a rocket and head down the hallway. So that's where I think we're going to end this episode. It has been a doozy between the Shulker Farm and the breaking and not working and having to redo stuff and the deaths and ugh, it's been it's been another week of just craziness. So. Uh, I like the progress that we're making. Looking forward to getting started on some more and uh, hope that you are too. Until next time, I hope you stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you.